Hola chicos y muy buenas, yo soy Julián Marinov y hoy os quiero traer una entrevista. Hace poco estuve en Suecia en un evento de Profoto que también os contaré de él en vídeos aparte porque ha sido impresionante, pero hoy pude conocer a dos de las personas de las que yo aprendía cuando empezaba en el mundo de la fotografía. De la misma forma que probablemente tú cuando has empezado pues has encontrado mis vídeos o vídeos de otros compañeros en internet de los que has empezado a aprender a desarrollarte como fotógrafo, pues de exactamente la misma forma yo cuando empezaba encontré a estas personas. Se trata de Jared Platt y Sar Sincota. Entonces pude grabar con cada uno de ellos por separado una entrevista específicamente para vosotros. Eh, han sido súper amables y hoy en este vídeo quiero mostraros el vídeo de Sal Sincota. Es un fotógrafo de bodas comercial. Eh, es uno de los top en el mundo. Realmente lo que enseña no es solamente cómo hacer fotografía, sino hablar de cómo ver, cómo entender el lado del negocio de la fotografía, cómo poder estructurarlo todo bien. Y hoy le he pedido tres consejos tres consejos de lo que a él le hubiera gustado saber cuando empezaba en el mundo de la fotografía. Y creo que muchos de vosotros estáis en esta fase de empezar a tomaroslo en serio y creo que van a ser súper, súper, súper útiles. Ahora, el único problema es que está todo en inglés, pero me he esforzado muchísimo para hacer los subtítulos en inglés y en castellano. De tal forma que si ahora mismo no te aparecen los subtítulos en castellano, todo lo que tienes que hacer es ir a la ruedita pequeña que hay abajo a la derecha del vídeo donde normal, normalmente cambias la resolución pues ahí tienes las funciones de subtítulos y puedes elegir los subtítulos por si no están activados ahora mismo activas los subtítulos en castellano y vas a poder disfrutar de la entrevista espero que la veas entera porque para mí ha sido un honor poder ver en persona conocer estas estos dos fotógrafos hoy veréis a Sal Sincota otro día veréis a Jared Platt pero para mí, no sé, me ha hecho muchísima ilusión poder traeros esta información y tener una entrevista especialmente para vosotros. Your question was going to be uh, three things I wish I knew when I started. Yeah, three things you wish you knew when you started. Three, three things that really would speed up the process of learning a painting photographer who is just starting right now. Yeah, the first thing I wish I knew when I started was uh, how difficult it was going to be to run a business. I think as photographers, we spend a whole lot of time um, shooting and creating, uh -huh. which is of course important, but it's fun. Uh, but the reality is we have to know how to run a business. And that's the one thing in the very beginning, I don't think I really understood that I had to turn a profit. I had to charge the right amount of money. I couldn't give away the digital files and so that's the first thing I wish I knew I have to run it like a real business and that's what everybody needs to understand that is so important um, sorry yeah that's a great question that just came out uh, come up to me what if the client asks you for a digital files which is absurd of course but what, yeah. what do you say yeah when a client asks us for digital files we we will deliver them uh, but only with a paid package right so what we won't do is just shoot and burn. So if a client comes to us and they say, you know, we want to spend X amount of dollars, all we want are the digital files, we won't, we won't work with that client. They're not our client. So if you want to make money uh, and run a successful business, you have to understand that you can't just give everything away. Now, to that point, it's an incomplete service, right? So when you, when you go out to a restaurant, right, they don't give you chicken, breadcrumbs and oil and then they say yeah. go make your own chicken yeah. and I think when we think about it that way uh, we have to think about that with our clients like offer them a complete service give them a wedding album give them uh, the final product that they need so right, I, I, there is your value I mean that's yeah. the way you express yourself and this is what you want to sell you got to control I the think whole it's thing. really important to know what are you trying to sell exactly of course because in my case it's not a certain amount of photos but it's more like uh, being able to say, don't worry. I mean, I'm selling you the the, the safety and security that everything is gonna be fine, and you don't even have to think about 
something or take decisions. I'm right. going to do everything for you and you're going to be happy. So that's what I'm trying to, to sell. And there, there's other people to, uh, selling like a number of photos, which is all right. But everything, everyone has to know what is he really trying to sell. Right. And don't be afraid to make money. It's okay. Uh, no, it was difficult for me. Yeah, really. yeah. Artists struggle with this all the time. Like they feel um, un unworthy to charge, right? Yeah. Like it's I like, can't charge that You money. know you're worthy. But it's difficult to charge. Exactly, and that's the tough. That's one of those things. Uh, you know, the second thing I wish I, I knew or planned for was success. And let me explain what that means. In, in the beginning, when you're starting your business, you're just happy to get work anywhere, right? Yeah. Uh, and then really, this idea. Yes. <laughs> no, well, I'm gonna lose a little bit, but who cares? Yeah, yeah. And, and so what ends up happening is, is you you forget to to think about well, what if this actually works? And so early on in my career. I immediately booked 52 weddings right Whoa. out of the gate and I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for the post-production. I wasn't ready for my accounting. I wasn't ready for, you know, customer service. And so I really didn't plan for success. I was just chasing work and chasing jobs. And then one minute I, I stopped and I was like, holy shit, there's a lot of things that have to yeah. be done now and I wasn't ready for it. So, you know, if you're setting your goals and dreams, plan for success. Assume that if you work hard, you will be successful. And if you are successful, you better have the people uh, and process in place to help you be successful or you're going to fail. You're going to fail because you let your customers down. You're going to fail because you're not charging enough and all these other things that, uh, that go into it. That's all right. And, and then finally, um, I can't stress enough the importance of in-person sales. Um, not just handing those digital files over, right? So one of the, the most important things I learned in the beginning was the value of face-to-face -face meetings with the client. Uh -huh. um, it took me about a year and a half to figure that out. But once I did, it was absolutely amazing. I started, I went from, my average engagement sale was about $125 US dollars. Um, it was horrible. Like I, I, it's not a lot of money. I mean, I can't run a business with a hundred dollars. Uh, and so then I started. You can survive, but it's, it's not a business. It's not a business, exactly. Um, and it's definitely not a business we're planning for success, right? And so what I had to start doing was meeting with my clients and walking them through the pro process, showing them what a wedding album would look like, showing them what a canvas yeah. looks like, and putting it in their hands, um, and showing them their pictures in front of them, uh, and what it might look like on their walls. And the minute we started doing that. My, I'll never forget yes. my very first engagement sale uh, when I started doing this went from $125 to $1,400. Um, Whoa! That that's when the light bulb went off. I'm like, that's like 11 times. The yeah, it, it's crazy. So, but again, if I didn't embrace that uh, in-person sale, so my only regret was that I didn't do it sooner, right? And I know a lot of photographers out there, they they never do it. They're afraid to do it. They don't think they need to do it. They don't know how to do it. You know, and that's where, you know, watch a creative live course or, uh, you know, start just start getting mentorship uh, from people who can help you figure that stuff out. But I'm telling you what, those three things I wish I knew early on and uh, maybe I would have gotten a bigger head start. Who knows? Well, that's really helpful. I really thank you. And for all of you who maybe don't know that, when I started learning photography, I, I went straight away to creative life because they were the best photographers in the world. So... It was the best place where you can learn something and probably it's still the best place to, to go. And then I saw Sal and, and Jasmine Star and Jared Platt and, and, and a lot of photographers who really spoke about the, the real life of photographer and all the things that you really need to know and think about. So I thank you and it's, it's like an honor for me to, ah, to be able to, to, to show my audience actually where I started uh, so it's, it's like what, we, we all start somewhere yeah uh, and when they're, they're watching me it's like when I was watching you and and, and I wanted just to, to show people that it's easy to meet with, 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 with these people and, and, and it's easy to grow only if you never uh, never stop trying and, and everything works out yeah hard work man hustle and uh, success can be yours so what is your Instagram Instagram, uh, at Sal Sincotta, S-A-L-C-I-N-C-O-T-T-A. -T -T so follow us, uh, check out some of our behind the scenes, our work, and uh, it's a good place to keep in touch. Great. Thanks Thank for you. having me, my friend.